There are several reasons why the wipe data factory reset option might be missing from the recovery mode of some Android phones manufacturers or MDM software might deploy a security feature that disables the factory reset option entirely. This prevents unauthorized resets, especially on devices managed by businesses. Even if the reset option exists, FRP might be another layer of security. After a factory reset, FRP requires the login credentials of the last Google account associated with the phone as mentioned before. Manufacturers might rename, relocate, or even remove the standard wipe data factory reset option altogether. They likely have an alternative way to achieve the same reset functionality, but it might be under a different name or require a different combination to access. While less likely, it's also possible that a software bug is causing the reset option to be hidden or inaccessible. This could be a temporary issue addressed in a future software update. Imagine your phone is completely unresponsive, like a brick. No worries, EDL mode can be the key to bringing it back to life. It grants us access to the phone's core firmware, like its internal blueprint. With this access, technicians can perform some pretty amazing things. First up, we have flashing a new firmware. Think of it like giving your phone a whole new operating system, wiping away any glitches or problems that bricked it in the first place. Next, there's flashing stock firmware. This basically means reinstalling the original software that came with your Samsung phone straight from the factory. It's like a clean slate, erasing all your data and settings in the process, but sometimes that's exactly what's needed. Feeling a bit of downgrade remorse after installing a custom ROM. EDL mode can help you get back on track. If a previous stable software version is available, we can use EDL mode to downgrade your phone and get things working smoothly again. Now here's the thing, getting into EDL mode on a Samsung can be a bit tricky. It often involves opening up your phone and fiddling with some tiny contact points on the inside. This is why we say EDL mode is for the brave or the technicians. Messing up during this stage can cause more harm than good. Flashing through EDL mode has become crucial for refurbishing and preparing pre-owned Samsung devices with Qualcomm processors for resale. Here's how it plays a vital role. Wiping user data and settings completely. When reselling a phone, ensuring all the previous user's data and settings are entirely wiped is critical. EDL flashing allows you to flash the stock firmware, which inherently performs a factory reset, guaranteeing a clean slate for the new user. This protects user privacy and ensures a fresh out-of-the-box experience. Restoring software, to original state. Pre-owned phones might have software issues or modifications like custom ROMs. EDL flashing enables you to flash the original stock firmware provided by Samsung. This resolves any software glitches and presents the phone in a standard, functional state, increasing its appeal to potential buyers.